My name is Michael and I'm a criminologist uh, and I live in Australia. Uh, child sexual abuse uh, is any sexual experience um, that is unwanted um, or it is manipulative. So child sexual abuse can um, occur between, between kids, so that's, that's quite common. There is, of course, normal like sexual play and experimentation between children that can be totally healthy and normal, but where one child is aggressive, threatening, or significantly older than the other child and is engaging the other child in activity that is inappropriate, unwanted, yeah, it's manipulative. So that, that can be sexual abuse between kids or between teenagers, um, or it's, it's any sexual activity um, between an adult and, and a child is child sexual abuse. So it can involve what we call contact offending. So that's, that's literally like physical contact. Um, and it can range from like unwanted touching on um, our private parts of our body um, to sexual acts um, between the, the victim and the perpetrator. Um, child sexual abuse can include what we call non-contact offences. So this is where um, there's not physical touch between the people that are involved, um, but one person might expose themselves. So they might like show parts of their body to the victim, um, or they might show pornography to the victim. That's also child sexual abuse. Um, and also child sexual abuse can involve the internet. Um, and so... This is something that we need to be really aware of when we're online is the ways in which, um, you know, people can reach out using the internet um, to get us to do things that we don't want to do. People can lie to us on the internet about who they are and what age they are. Um, they can try and get us to share images um, or try and get us onto web chat or trying to engage us in like even just sexual chat and sexual talk. Um, and of course, using our mobile phones to do that as well. So yeah, that's child sexual abuse. It's, it's really any sexual activity that we don't want um, or where someone is using age or other kinds of power to manipulate us. Um, sometimes we don't know that it's sexual abuse. Sometimes we blame ourselves. We think it's our fault um, because we don't understand how we've been manipulated. We might think that this person's actually our girlfriend or our boyfriend um, because for kids, you know, young people, they don't understand. No, this person's 10 years older. They're 20 years older. Um, or this person's my age, but they're threatening me they are coercing me, they are manipulating me. You know, young people don't always know um, what is going on um, until, until much later. Um, so yeah, it's a really important thing for young people and kids to understand what is child sexual abuse.